Good morning and welcome to Three Minutes of Truth. Yesterday I said that the quality of your relationships has less to do with the quality of the other person than you might think. You can have a good relationship with a bad person. This sounds counterintuitive, so let me explain what I mean by this. Just because someone is selfish or greedy or full of anger or bitter doesn't mean that you should write off any kind of relationship with them. I remember I also said that relationships are a channel through which things like love flow. And negative things can flow through this channel as well. For example, someone who is bitter is going to be pouring hate and anger into their relationships. Now here's the important truth. You can control what flows through these connections. You can choose what kind of connections you make with another person and whether it becomes a channel for love and encouragement or just a channel for bitterness and negativity. And how do you do this? Through something called boundaries. Boundaries are something we often neglect in our relationships because they can be uncomfortable to set up. They are not the easy or the fun part when it comes to building relationships, but they are really important because they help dictate what things we allow other people to pour into our lives. Without boundaries, you are like a city without a wall. Anyone can come in and you have no gate to keep the destructive people out. Proverbs 4 verse 23 says, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Don't take the scripture lightly, because it will cost you in your relationships. You see, there are no perfect people out there, and even the good people have their low moments. But what boundaries allows you to do is build relationships with people that doesn't cause you to become their punching bag whenever they are in need. And it will keep you from being misused and abused by selfish and greedy people. I know that this can be really, really difficult for people that are natural carers. You want to help and carry the burdens of everyone around you. But healthy boundaries actually make you better at loving people. When you don't have boundaries, you will constantly be abused and taken advantage of by others. And it's only a matter of time before you become resentful of people. Boundaries make us better at loving people because we can be around their brokenness without becoming broken ourselves. Let me give you a practical example. Say one of your friends admits to you that they have a stealing problem. You could easily decide that you don't want to have anything to do with them because if you invite them over to your house, they're going to leave with some of your property. Or you could decide to only meet them in public places while they are still dealing with this issue. What you have done there is set a healthy boundary, a boundary that allows you to continue loving and supporting them. Without that boundary, the relationship would quickly become strained because they would be taking your stuff and you would be fighting them to get it back. There wouldn't be room for love and encouragement because you would constantly be feeling angry and disappointed by what they were doing to you. The boundaries you set in the relationship are what keep the channel open to love and support and they keep the channel closed to hate and anger. Learning to set boundaries in your life is not going to be easy. It means you're going to have to say no at times when all you want to do is please the other person. And it means you're going to have to have some uncomfortable conversations. But I know that right now, there are probably relationships in your life that are causing you distress, not because you need to walk away from them, but just because you need to set up some healthy boundaries. You will find that this uncomfortable task of setting up boundaries is going to cause your relationships to be less draining and more uplifting for both you and the other person. I pray that right now, the Lord would give you the courage and boldness that you need to go and have that difficult conversation with a friend, with a family member, with a work colleague, because I know that setting up good boundaries will only make your relationships better. My name is Nathan, and this is Three Minutes of Truth.